Think about this. Yes? We have to understand the spirit of the Qur'an. Allah Taala says that Qur'an is to be recited in every salah. Do you agree? No doubt. We recite Qur'an in every salah. But there is special sweetness of the recitation of Qur'an in the morning. Qur'an is the book of inspiration. It's the book of energy. The book of motivation. The book of light. The book of assistance. The book of salvation. When you and I recite Qur'an in the morning in Salatul Fajr to start off with, what are we doing? We are helping ourselves. We are enriching ourselves. We are empowering ourselves. The Qur'an is giving us a great start in the morning. It's a fuel for you and I. Allah knows. He has created you and I. He knows what you and I need in the morning to have a successful day. Because some people say, you know, most important meal of the day is what? Some people said here dinner, no. It is breakfast, yes? Some people claim that it's breakfast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you want nourishment for the soul? I am telling you, the most important salah to nourish your soul from the morning is salat al-fajr. No doubt. Don't underestimate. I created you, Allah says, and I know what's best for you. Why are you neglecting it? Why? Do you not want what is good for you? Quran al-fajr. In the Quran al Fajr, that is why ulama say it is highly recommended to recite Quran after Salatul Fajr because Allah says it's a special time of the day where recitation of the Quran is very much powerful and influential. So, not only should you recite it during a salah, which we have to because we recite Surah Al Fatiha an entire chapter in both rugas, but after Fajr, especially between Fajr and sunrise, the great time of the day. Great time, no doubt. Our ulama used to spend it in reflection, ibadah, contemplation, doing their work, yes? And it's also a great time if you are looking for rizq. Here's a tip. Ulama say, if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with rizq, then spend between fajr and sunrise in ibadah, in dhikr, in Quran recitation. It's been highlighted from the narrations of the Ahl al-Bayt alayhum as -salam. In fact, we have a beautiful narration that says anyone who after Fajr recites Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-Ali al-Azim 40 times they are closer to Ismullah al-A'zam than the whiteness of the eye to the dark blackness of the eye. This is a Sahih Hadith. You are close to Ismullah al-A'zam. You want your dua to be answered? Don't neglect this part of the day.